darts in a jar? Petu- petunias and corn. I, I, I don't know. Why am I having so much trouble? Drugged. We've been drugged. Binge pipe. The following binge pipe programming is brought to you by reusable toilet paper. Binge Pipe is very surprised that it decided to bring back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe. The glitches make it folksy. I'm Cookie Masterson, and I'm eating a hard-boiled egg. Hey, I'm glad all eight of you decided to play this game. Anything to keep you off the streets. And so it begins. Start the game. Time for question one. To begin with, synchronized spiking. This is a two-part question. Ready? Part one, what year did beach volleyball become an official Olympic sport? And part two, what year did I first start regularly watching the Olympics? 1972 and 1972, 1988 and 1988, 1996 and 1996, or 2004 and I don't watch the Olympics. What'd you guys pick? Nope, I mean, it was boring, but then they introduced beach volleyball. Beach volleyball became an official sport in the Summer Olympics in 1996, which, completely coincidentally, is the same year I started regularly watching the Olympics. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even have a television set before 1996. Well, I did, but it didn't have beach volleyball on it, so it was just pretty much a fancy paperweight. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! There is no hiding from LL Science. How would Lil B react with litmus paper? The based god would turn litmus paper blue, the based god would turn litmus paper red, the based god would turn litmus paper white, or the based god would dissolve the litmus paper. So what'd you pick? I give this answer a Lil B minus. A base will turn a strip of litmus paper blue. Litmus paper will also turn you blue if you wrap enough of it tightly around your face. Why do we do it with three? This one's called Young Casper the Friendly G, and it's a diss or dat. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's. A classic comic character published by Harvey Comics, you know, the publishers of Casper the Friendly Ghost, or a famous rapper from Atlanta. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between a children's comics character or an Atlanta rapper. And you're all doing this together, so focus up. Ready? Let's go. Baby Huey. Most of you nailed that. Okay, let's move along. I don't need you anymore. It's time for Where You Lead, I Shall Follow You on Twitter. Nowadays, you gotta be careful not to alienate your followers. 
Which tweet would cause at the Pied Piper to lose the most followers? Just saying, snakes are overrated. Wow, rats suck. A cat should never be president. Or, sorry, but all crows should go to hell. Let's see how that shook out. The Pied Piper is a medieval legendary character who would blow his pipe and rats would follow him. I lost half my followers when I said my mom's carrot cake was dry. My mom unfollowed me, and so did her friend Cheryl. Feast your eyes upon this. The perpetual motion of the Oceans franchise. Which of the following equals the number of oceans traditionally considered to be on planet Earth? Oceans 11 minus Oceans 13 plus Oceans 8. Oceans 12 minus Oceans 11 plus Oceans 13 minus Oceans 8. Oceans 8 minus Oceans 11 divided by Oceans 12 or Oceans 12 minus Oceans 8. Okay, who chose what? I hope it's not your birthday. <laughs> Traditionally, the Earth's oceans are divided up into four. The Atlantic, the Pacific, the Indian, and the Arctic. And Oceans 12 minus Oceans 8 equals Oceans 4. But if we don't do something about our carbon emissions, soon we may end up with so many oceans that the novelty of the original film will be all but forgotten. <laughs> Round one is history. Hey voice, what data have you captured? Currently, player two is in the lead. Speaking of the exact opposite of that, these players are highly valued, but their scores are not. Sounds like it's screw time. <laughs> That's correct, binge pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Use the screw to make answering a question harder for all the other players. The results may surprise you, and you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. <clears throat> Great, thanks. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? I feel good about this. Six trombones is not a parade. Next. W-W-E-I-E-I-O Kids love professional wrestling about as much as professional wrestlers love doing things other than professional wrestling. Based on his well-known catchphrase taunt, what would most likely be John Cena's favorite childhood game? Duck Duck Goose, Peekaboo, London Bridge is Falling Down, or Patty Cake? Okay, let's take a look. John Cena is well known for saying, You can't see me, which is also the name of his first studio album. I know that because I bought a Cena album thinking it was a Sia album, and I gotta say, I have zero regrets. Je trouve Jerry Lewis sonnant légèrement amusant. Set. Next up. We're listening, you're listening. Oh, alright, it's, it's one of these. Binge Pipe recommends. Because you've been diagnosed with hypoesthesia, we thought you would enjoy the song Stressed Out. Oh, look out. <laughs> Player six just let loose a screw. Embrace the change. Or don't. It. Let's call this a teaching moment. Okay, nobody guessed it. Let's skip ahead. Hypoesthesia is a lack of sensitivity to touch stimuli, so this song by The Weeknd is very relatable. Media that numbs your senses is just one of the many special features offered by Binge Pipe. Excellent screwing player six. Spend this wisely. Was then I learned to heed the winds of it. Coming up, tiny handkerchief. And hey, stress cut with mime sore. It's time for a flicker is Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, focus up. 
Look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what famous movie quote it rhymes with. Hey, a horse flea tissue. And don't get hung up on that punctuation. Which side are you on? The dark or the light? Man, these space fights are intense. I give up. What was it? Let's get on with it, shall we? Na, 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 na. Try this on for size. Who, what, why, and warehouse. If Men's Warehouse wanted to start marketing their suits towards her suit men, what would you hear at the end of their commercials? It'll distract from your oversized facial features. Well, well. Player 8 decided to screw. Uh, let's flip the script on this question. Okay, what'd you pick? What's the difference between a double-breasted suit and a single-breasted suit? I mean, you got this wrong, I was just wondering. Her suit is just another word for hairy. They would be marketing to hairy men. Excellent screwing, player eight. Here's that cash. I call this one good tidings my ass. Every Christmas, carolers come to my door demanding figgy pudding and singing, We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. What crime are they committing? Assault, breaking and entering, extortion, or blackmail? Who picked what? Extortion is the use of threats to obtain someone else's property. In this case, my sweet, sweet figgy pudding. How many people have turned to crime over a little figgy pudding? Can't we be happy with just the good tidings? Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. We may miss them for you. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Oh, brothers, who art thou? I hope you know your famous families. Good luck.
Player two takes it. Well done, player two. There are no small victories, except this one. You barely won. I guess what I'm saying is... You don't know Jack! Okay, welcome back to Talkin' Mystery Mountain. I'm joined as always by my panel. Guys, wow, how about that episode? After facing some criticism that the show has lost its way and that the writers created too big of a puzzle to solve, 